hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today is my match preview for the Watford Brighton game. Uh, now the Premier League season is not that far away. Um, just a couple of things to update you on. Uh, just in case you don't know, that ball behind me is the new Premier League ball. Um, now when the, this channel is never going to go quiet. Um, Trust me with that. The only time I might go quiet is when England play in these uh, this new cup that's going on. Um, that's, it might be a two week period where it goes quiet, but that's it. So, um, guys, let's get on with it. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, right, last time uh, we met with uh, Brighton 1 1 0. If I remember rightly, we sort of dominated for 90 minutes. I might have that wrong, um, but that's how I remember it. Um, Watford didn't. If I remember rightly as well, Watford didn't see much of the ball. Um, last time this fixture happened, um, obviously it's a nil-nil draw. Watford went down to 10 men with that dirty foul not part. Um, I think we should have won that game to be honest. Um, it was my first away fixture in the Premier League as well. Um, but, right now at this stage, I will need to go there over the last five results. But, it's, I can't do it yet. Obviously, it's impossible because it's a first game. So, I'm going to run our next five fixtures. I think the three points are critical to us more than Watford and this is what so we got coming up we got United at home Liverpool away Southampton at home uh, Southampton away sorry Spurs at home so I think I get nine out of the 15 might be more I might even push for the 12 actually but let's wait and see uh, Watford have got Burnley away Palace at home, Spurs at home, United at home, and Fulham away. Now, I think they could go, I think they could possibly get 12 out of the 15. Um, the one I'm not sure about is Burnley. Um, but, uh, let's wait and see. Uh, right, anyway, here is my 1 to 11. In goal, Matty Ryan. Uh, he had a really good season last season. I can't see him changing for that number one spot. Um, obviously, he had a good World Cup as well. Um, so that's one goal. I went with Matty Ryan. Um, in right back, I have gone with Shalotto. Uh, now, first time I saw him, it was Tottenham at Wembley. He didn't look really that good, but he has came into the game and he has adapted to Premier League. In centre back, I have gone with Shane Duffy. Um, now, obviously, yeah, another great season last season. Um, I can't see a lot changing. For this first game, but there is one change, and you'll find out in a minute. Um, in the other centre back position, I'll go with Lewis Dunk. Uh, a lot of speculation at the start, at the end of the season, and um, we've got a good chance of losing him. I think everyone's left off. Hopefully, you like it, don't quit. Oh, excuse me, at the last minute. Um, but uh, yeah, in that centre back position, I have gone with Lewis Dunk. Uh, at left back, now this is one of our new players who I expect to start. Uh, Bernardo, uh, great signing. I've seen him play at the friendly. I'm looking, to, I'm looking forward to seeing him play some more. Um, but I do reckon he start against Watford, and uh, hopefully have a good game. Um, left. Me. Now it's a bit of a tough one, 
because there's rumours going around that this kid might be picking up a bit of an injury but I am going to put him in a position this kid I do reckon he should start he's been doing a lot of gym work um, now if he had that bad of injury he wouldn't have been in the gym uh, the club would limit him but what I've been seeing I think he will start so it left, that's why I just said, Ischiello. In the centre mid, on the left, I'll go with Dale Stevens. Had a great season last season. Um, you know, I think he done one or two assists. So, you know, uh, I'll start with Dale Stevens in that centre mid. Uh, in the right centre mid, I'll go with David Popper. Only one of the two real gems that came in and hit the ground running adapted quickly um, so you know well done to you David Popper uh, now at the right side now player has been getting a bit of stick um, it's more likely to get booed up at Watford uh, for when he dived in the playoff uh, it's Anthony Knocker I can't see uh, Jack Bash I'll probably mispronounce that if I have I'm sorry um, but I reckon not can't get the starting lineup just for this game and just probably get uh, Jack Bash ready um, for the Premier League. Uh, now I'm going with the 4 4 1 1 formation, so just behind him I've gone with Pastel Groves. Um, not, he done, had a great season last season, another gem that we found. Um, you know, scored a lot of goals on a good goal against West Ham. Uh, he's the only player that I don't really feel his positions to fight for. Uh, I don't think we've brought another CAM in or a striker, or you know, it's a striker behind the centre forward as the formation goes, or a CAM which is centre attack midfield. Um, but yeah, pass on Groves, you've got that spot. Now the striker's position. Now, this is a tough one. Uh, LaGuardia didn't play at all in that friendly. I'm whether, whether he's picked up a nymph. But it's his time to start, start coming in and shining. Uh, Glenn Murray looks like he's injured. Um, so the striker, bit of interest, but nothing's shown up yet. If he does come, if he does go in this deadline day, I would put uh, LaGuardia in. But for now, it's Tom Ahmed. Uh Very unfortunate to miss out last season. Um, obviously, he didn't miss out. He got suspended and then he um, couldn't get back in the team. I found that very unfortunate. But it's Christian's choice at the end of the day. We've just got to be ready. We've got to stick by the manager. And what decisions he's making. Don't forget he's seeing it day in, day out. We're not. Um, but guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed my new intro. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.